Welcome to a quick lesson on images when you're creating your blog posts. This lesson can be applicable to any image you're trying to update on a web page, not just on blogs. In this case, I've jumped to the blog page for this website and I've uploaded an image and I thought it looked great, except it's the wrong size. And it's actually a smaller image, but the ratio width to height is such that it just has a different formatting effect. Here you can see the image is normally meant to be a bit wider and shorter. So we need to change this image around or find another image that actually fits that area. So the first thing we do is jump into the dashboard and go to the media library. Let's have a look at that current image and see what's going on with the right image to use. Here it is here, choosing a dentist of Melton is the image name. And we'll just jump into that and have a look at the image size. Uh, now the file size, they should all be small, 190 kilobytes. It's been compressed. Uh, in this case, I'm more concerned with dimensions 572 wide by 428 high. I'll just pop that into a notepad just so I haven't lost it. Uh, and then go back. So if I go back into where I've got this other image, which is actually I've loaded them both up in paint.net. You can use whatever program you want. Here's this image. If I go to image canvas size, again, tools are different. 572 by 428 high. If I go to the other image uh, and go to the image size, it is 242 by 259. So let's adjust that. So it's actually higher than it is wide. So the height will have to be changed and reduced relative to the width. So again, if I look at what I had here, it's 572 wide by 428. Let's just change this by to 572. Maintain the aspect ratio. It pumps it up to 612. Oops. I didn't want to change the image, so I just wanted to do the resize the whole thing. 572 up to 612. So I need to crop it down. So what I can do is now that I've got it wider, I can go canvas size, change it from the middle, left, right, whatever I want. So let's just change it bang from the middle. Uh, let's just try actually and crop it. I've just used a little selector tool here. Let's just shorten it to about here. Image crop to selection, image canvas size 505, getting a little bit closer. So let's just crop it now. Go in, resize it. Actually, canvas size 572 wide. What was it again? It was 4, 428. So go to this one. I need the height to be 428 and maybe just crop it from top and bottom and see how it looks. Yeah, that seems to work. So let's just save that. I'll save as, I'll just call it services root canal treatment, and that's for the FAQ section. Save it, save it as a JPEG. It's only 20 kilobytes, so very small. Now it's a bit smaller than it should be uh, for good quality image. I think it's been, um, we're using an image that's smaller than the original. We'll jump back to, jump back to the, uh, the posts. So we're gonna go to from media library to posts. We'll just pick whichever one here. Here we go. Best tips to keep your teeth white. We'll just edit that blog. Scroll down. We know that one is, is too high. Remove featured image. Then set featured image. Let's upload the new one that we've just cropped. There we go. That's the one there. Because it's got FAQ at the end of it. Go open. Again, when you're loading an image, give it a proper name, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to copy it uh, from what was there before and go set featured image. And then we're going to go update. And then let's have a look back at the FAQ and refresh that. Hopefully I've made it wider and shorter. And there we go. That's how you, That's one way depending on what tool you use to have an image resized so that it fits uh, the space that you've got allocated on your website. Good luck with it.